Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about a few issues uh, and of course since we're MTG Finance channel we have this background of uh, the masterpiece gold background, So Ring being the most expensive masterpiece in the Kaladas invention series. Yeah, I mean the masterpieces I think will long term be very very good holds. I don't know if they're going to go up a ton, but as EDH cards, yeah they are beautiful. They are very pretty and yeah, so I wanted to address a few issues. Uh, uh, I've adopted another dog. So as many of you know, I have five foster dogs, three foster kittens or cats. They're not kittens uh, and two foster ferrets. I still have the two ferrets and my the reason I'm making this video is kind of it's strange to me how much money gets funneled into magic content creators and how it's done. I'm actually going to make another YouTube video outlining how much I, and I've calculated, I think a magic YouTuber, the largest magic YouTuber could make over $200,000 via sponsorships, via Patreon and YouTube ad revenue and all of these things I calculated and under the best case scenario. So again, I don't know if someone can make 200,000, but under the ideal circumstance, they could make even more than that because I didn't calculate like Twitch and I assumed they only had a few big sponsors. So I've always, you know, been of the belief that, you know, like Puka Trade, I never liked it because from the very get go, they wanted your money for points to fund it. If a concept is really good, then you should be willing to fund it yourself and not ask for p other people to fund it. Now the Patreon, I've been very vocal on what my feelings on Patreon on are and for people to you know criticize that, yeah, my Patreon has not been updated in a long time. And we have like two people, we have Marcus and Jeremy. I think there's only two people. So that's okay with me. But I want to encourage you guys to make YouTube channels to get your voice out there. A lot of you keep asking, why don't you make this video? Why do, don't you make that video? If I do not use it and I have no intention to use it, I'm not going to make a video even if there is some payment, you know, carrot sticking up in front of me because it doesn't make sense. And not going to go into details, but... In my experience, I work with a lot of clients, uh, many of them very large clients, and I own my own business. I get to decide who to hire, and I get to decide who to let go. And it's solely my decision. I hire people I like to hang out with, and I think that are good for the culture of the company, and I let go people who don't, or who are not good for the culture of the company. I have two very fancy degrees. Uh, I would say one is from NYU and one from William Mary Law. I don't use either degree. So the, but I make a decent living. Uh, I have my investors are happy with me. My employees are happy and I have two lovely dogs. And I'm able to foster as many dogs as I can. So my perspective of Magic of Gathering is so weird when I compare it to other people who are full-time magic content creators or I don't know what they're full-time trolls I guess is what would I would say and people always say oh you're not smart you're not intelligent you're not this you're not that like you don't know me and I don't know you you're just a random person online who thinks it's very brave for you to say bad stuff about uh, for me it's okay um because I'm used to it. I, I mean, I've had before this channel, I had another channel, New Law Student, and combined the trolling is whatever, right? And I don't really mind because, again, my main social media is my LinkedIn, and my LinkedIn is, you know, they're professionals, there's a picture, there's a name that tells you where you work. People are, are far less uh, because there's no hiddenness. There's no, hmm, I'm going to click on blah, 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 blah. And no one's going to ever trace it back to me. I'm going to be as 
blanking effing blanking as I can because no one will out no on LinkedIn it's more civil in my opinion you can have very good discussions because your discussions out and open and maybe even your boss sees it so I don't consider YouTube my main social media YouTube is something I do because I enjoy MTG finance I actually truly enjoy it uh, and that's the dichotomy where it's interesting I don't like the MTG finance community I think a lot of them especially ones behind paywall they're not saying anything like special, right? When they say 95% of the cards will go down in price, yeah, they're right. But they never pick the 5% that go up or they pick incorrectly. And, you know, it's, I don't know. Um, a lot of the MTG finance community, I don't know what their background is. Uh, they will criticize my background and stuff, but I took a lot of accounting. I was a comptroller for a huge agency. I do my own, like, I work with my CPA, of course, but which I'm going to see Monday. But I'm very good at uh, fine. I have my own stocks. I have my own retirement fund, mutual fund, which has earned nine percent up to date, nine percent year end. So, and that's my retirement. Fund. It's like a mutual fund. So I don't know, like the concept that what you see on YouTube is what reality is is incorrect because it depends on how much effort you put in and depends on how good you are faking it or if you want to fake it for me i have been point blank with you guys if i want to make a website mtgline.com i will buy the domain i'm not going to ask you for sixty thousand dollars i'm not going to ask you for six thousand dollars i'm not going to ask you for a dollar i'm just going to do it because yeah if I want to foster a dog, I'm not going to cry about, you know, fostering a dog's and their expense. And by the way, Snowy is fine. Um, medical bills taken care of. Everything is taken care of. Uh, if I foster a dog, I know a dog with heartworms costs $800. I, I'm ready for that expense. Uh, if I hire an employee, I'm ready. I have a 90 day escrow for that employee. Should anything happen, they'll still be fine. And I'll tell them up front, hey, you might want to look for another job in the next 30 days because I don't know. And that's what uh, my philosophy has always been. And that's why I'm so popular on LinkedIn is my core philosophies are very different from what you see on YouTube. But a lot of people cannot tell to, you know, for people to think that I'm not intelligent is, I don't know what metric they would measure it by, but I have... I passed the patent bar when I was 21. Not many people can say that. I actually have never met a single person who can say that. And I work. I used to work at Baden's at the largest Chinese patent agency since I was 18 until I was 24. And I could have continued that forever, but I wanted to go on an adventure. I wanted to have my own team. I wanted to be the boss. I wanted to, you know, how difficult, one of the most difficult things in life, if you've ever can experience this, is being responsible for your employees. One of my employees is pregnant. They already have a, a kid. You, you gotta help. You have to make sure that a company is stable, healthy. One of our employees is, you know, he's doing immigration. And if you can't, provide that stability, it's very bad for your employees. And that's the one thing I would always say, like there has been times and I've never mentioned this, um, maybe on LinkedIn, I'll mention it tomorrow where I put the employees paychecks on my own personal credit card, right? I wrote them checks from my own account because we didn't have that much money in the bank. Uh, obviously this was initially when we started, because uh, I knew that, you know, they had children, they had, you know, significant others, they had a mortgage payments. And yeah, that's what I did. So to judge someone on YouTube for what they put out is ridiculous, good and bad, right? Some people think this person is amazing, but have never seen them or met them or interacted or had dinner with them. How can you judge that person is amazing when all you see is seven minutes of maybe once every two times a week, you see 20 minutes total of footage of them. It's like reality TV show. You can make anyone look really good or really bad if you deter if you control the footage. It's only 20 minutes, right? 
So anyway, that is my giant rant. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the pretty pictures that were passing by. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.